Hi guys, welcome to another question of Ask Java series. In this video, we'll understand the next most common interview question. That is, what is difference between class and object? So this is one of the most common interview question. And if you are a fresher, you will surely face this question. So it is important to thoroughly understand the purpose of classes and objects in Java. Now you know that Java is object oriented programming language. And objects are like the real world entities. So let's say you have an application for a school. In this application, let's say we store and display the details of students, teachers, etc. So these students and teachers are real world entities and that we call as objects in Java. So for example, if you want to store student details, we'll create object of student. And each student will have certain properties and behaviors. For example, first student will have ID 1 and name will say Rahul and the second student will have ID 2 and let's say name Mahesh and one more student let's say ID is 3 and name is Geeta. So we will have different objects for different students and these students are real world entities so they are known as objects. But we have to mention somewhere that this student has ID, name, age, all these properties. So we have to mention a template for a student and referring to that template, objects will be created and the values will be assigned to it. So you have to mention that there is a student which has these properties like ID, name and each student has to have these properties. So those properties we mention inside a template and that template is a class in Java. So first we write a class and inside this we give the properties and behaviors and then we create objects of this class and assign value to it. So this is the way classes and objects work in Java. So the first difference here is that class is a template and object is instance of a class. And again second difference that you can mention is object is a real world entity and class is a group of objects so from that class we create different objects so it is group of objects so objects are the physical entities that is the real world entities and the class is more of a logical entity because it's just a template which is going to be referred to create an object now object is created using a new keyword and class is declared with the keyword class so let's see in actual program how these classes and objects are created in Java. So here we have an application which has a main class inside which we have a main method since every Java program has a main method, right? Now we are going to create a class called student. So let's create it. So here we have a class student. Now inside this we'll mention the ID and the name. So we are mentioning that each student should have ID name. And we can also mention some other properties like age, birth date, gender, etc. But for the sake of this example, let's say ID and name. So we'll say string ID and string name. So these are going to be two properties of this class. And then now we'll create the object of this class. So we create object like this. We'll go back to our main class. So actually we create the object in the class where we need to access this properties. So we mentioned the class name first that is student. Then we write the object name or the reference variable which tells this is object. So let's call this student1. This is not a proper way to name the object but for understanding we'll call it student1 equal to new. New is the keyword that tells the compiler to create a new object. So new and again mention the class name followed with the bracket. So this is a syntax for creating an object using new keyword in Java. So here we have created the object. Now in this we are going to set the properties. So usually we can also do something like this such as we can say student.id equal to 1. And student dot name equal to Rahul. This is one way, but this is not the ideal way to do in Java. So for that, we create getters and setters of the properties. 
so let's see how we can create those go to the student class right click and go to source and say create getters and setters and here we have get method for both the properties and set method for both the properties so we have get id set id get name set name get is used to read the property set is used to assign the value to the properties so now using this setter we are going to set the values to the student so we'll say student dot set id and we'll call it pass the argument one and student dot set name let's pass the argument rahul so this will set the values to the student now this is one student if you want to add more student to the application you are going to create one more object let's call it student two and we'll just change the id and name and then we have the third object also with the name let's say geeta so in this way we have created the class which is a template unique template for the student objects and we are going to create the various student objects from it so the other difference again object is created with new keyword and class is created by declaring the class with class keyword and there are few more ways to create objects so this is not the only way to create objects there are few more ways to create objects we'll see that in the next videos but yes there are more ways to create objects and there's only one way to create the class when the object is created it is allocated some memory this does not happen with class so class is not allocated any memory but the objects get memory so that is another difference so i hope you understood the concept of objects and classes in java and these are the major differences let's revise them once class is a template an object is an instance of it then object is a real world entity and class is group of similar objects we can say also that object is a physical entity and class is a logical entity object as we have seen can be created using a new keyword and classes are created using the keyword class followed by class name there are various other ways also to create objects and there's only one way to create a class when an object is created it gets memory but this does not happen with the class so these are the differences between object and classes guys so in the interview if you face this question do not forget to mention this if you have more questions on this topic or on any other topic on java please mention them in the comment section below and we'll get back to it very shortly until then subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you